Perspective tutorial for rendering for the theater. I made the theater. This is the ground plan. This is the ground plan. And in theater, where would be what would be this line over here? Plaster line. The plaster line. Okay. In drawing for perspective, what would it be the equivalent of for the us? The ground line. Ground. ground. Uh, no, no, no. Where's my other pencil? I had two. Under your neck. Oh, it's under your neck. Okay, okay, the picture plane. Oh, yeah. Uh, Remember that? Hmm? Only an artist can do that. Only an artist can do that. A dyslexic artist. Okay, so that's the picture plane, or we often refer it to as PP. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, now we know that this here is our picture plane. Um, this here is what do you think? You had it earlier. Oh, this here is the top view. No, this is going to be the perspective view, or front. Well, we could call it front, but... Okay. So, if this is the top view and this is the front view, what is this line? The ground line. Excellent, okay. So, we have the ground line. Oops. So, what is this line? Center. So, that's fantastic, okay. So, that's our center line, and we're liking that. So, now we know <coughs> that everything that is seen over here will be able to be reported over here, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, I have created a new line, a new point over here, okay? And this is called the observation point. That's the viewer. So, in, pretend that this is not here. You know, this is what I've drawn here. Oh, okay. So, in top view, my observer is, if I were to use the scale ruler, is about, yeah, f well, 50, 53 feet from the plaster line. So that's my observation point. So, O, P. So those are important points when we start to do a rendering. What that means is that, if you remember when we did last class, is that everything, this is transparent, so this will help me. If I have an object, like this object, over here, and this person over here looks at it, it's going to see it through the picture plane. This is where we're going to start seeing it through measurement. Does that make sense to you? Okay. This is a very important concept for the perspective. What we do know is that everything is going to be the exact real dimension on the picture plane. So I could, if I want to know what something looks like six feet tall, I could take my scale ruler in quarter inch and I could put it over here and I could make a mark and I could go six feet tall is over here. And I just want you to understand that part of the principles is that you can only measure through accurate height on the picture plane. We're going to redo this little box together. Okay. I created one more line that we haven't defined. Does anybody can tell me what that line might be? Horizon. Horizon. My horizon line, yeah. And I've established that the horizon line, and now we could check in. That's your job, make sure it doesn't roll off, okay? All right. Yeah. So I've established that um, the horizon line is about 12 feet from the ground. So that means that most likely the viewers are sitting in risers and a person sitting is at 12 foot from the ground looking into it, the eyes of that person. Everything will vanish to the vanishing point and this will be VP here. Oops. Vanishing point over here. So that's our vanishing point. And that's because this is parallel to the picture plane and so it has one vanishing point. If the object is not parallel like this one, this will have two vanishing points. 
But right now, even though our box only have the one vanishing point. So, if I take the corner of the box and I bring it to my vanishing point, this is the floor that I'm building. So this is what I did, and I brought that one over there. What I don't know is how deep is that floor. So the way to do that, and this is the tricky part, how long, you know, why didn't I not stop over here? Why didn't I not stop over here? How do I want to find that? And this is where we get the concept of the picture plane. Remember, everything is gonna be seen against that picture plane. I am the observer, so I'm putting my thing point on the observation point, okay? And I'm gonna look at the back corner of the theater to see where that goes. I'm gonna do it darker now that you're here. I'm drawing my line to the picture plane. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And now to know where that goes, I'm bringing that wow. nice and square. I know, isn't that fantastic? All the way down to the actual surface, and now it tells me somewhere along that line is where that floor was ending, and I could tell you because this is the point I'm looking through. Looking through, it touches over here, and that's where I see it right there. What do you know? So wherever your picture plane was, it's, mm -hmm. it doesn't even matter where your picture plane is, that will always work. Yeah. You can move it. You can move it, it depends. But whatever you decide that, it doesn't matter what depth your theater is, it doesn't matter anything. This would work with anything that you try to draw in perspective. I don't know what you were talking about the last, last sentence. I don't know what you were talking about. Okay, so I'm going to do it one more time because mm -hmm. I, I don't mind taking it slowly for this. And remember I didn't say slow, I said slowly because I do use my adverbs, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's why what people say. <laughs> just saying. Okay. So here we have our center line. This is the person looking at the theater. Yeah. Pretend this doesn't exist, okay? You're sitting on main stage right now, and you're looking at something, and you're going to be able to establish the right size of an object looking at it through the proscenium arch. That's your plane. It would be like me looking through the window right now and trying to draw that tree. All my reference points is going to be against that window frame. Okay. So that's kind of like that drawing. So if, if this were, I'm trying to draw a Liz, I could draw it inside here, see through that, that's your observation point, the picture plane here, from here. Our picture plane is right here. Okay. Because we've established that in theater, that makes sense, isn't it? It makes a lot more sense. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I understood right? it before, but as soon as you brought up the window, I was like, oh, duh. Yeah, but so. that's exactly that. that. That window is a good example. I mean, the bad thing is we see trees, so it's hard to show something in perspective. Right. But if we had, like if we were in the city, I would have all of you do grease drawings on the window. <laughs> you know, that's what I would do. But the idea okay. is that imagine that the window is the proscenium <laughs> March in theater. Okay. Because what we want to show when we render for the theater, rendering for the theater is the name of the course, is we want to show what an audience would see, what an audience would experience. And so the audience will experience it seeing it through the proscenium arch. So that's why we make the proscenium arch our picture plane. Okay, okay. so that, that part you go? That one's yeah. good? Because we see everything against the picture plane, everything that's behind that box, we're gonna project these lines, and when they hit the picture plane, we're gonna draw them all the way down straight. I want to see where the, if the person sitting over here is looking at the very back of the theater and staring at that corner, but that person sees it through that window, that back of the theater is going to appear here on that window from that point of view. And so then from there, this is the part when you bring it down, this part is a parallel line to the center line, you know. This one goes because now you go directly down to the place. So this is what we're going to be doing all afternoon. We're going to be shifting our view from a top view and a front perspective view. And when we get to the top view, we go all the way up to the observation point. This is kind of like in between. I could have, if I had a really long paper and really long ruler, I could have put that 
where Jenna is, if I wanted to. The position of this doesn't matter, because all the lines that I'm bringing down, I'm always bringing them down parallel. So if you did it that way, it wouldn't be in between. Yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't really matter where I put that, because these are all parallel lines that I just go down, down. So wherever I put that on my paper, I did it over here so that it would actually fit in my drawing. So that works. So we did that, and I'm going to do it just for the benefit of us on the first one. I'm pretty good here. And so the reason why I made this a strong line here is because since it's the back of the wall, I made it like it was actually an, an actual wall. Okay, but that told, told me where that fitted over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you get the top of the wall. This one over here? Oh, never mind. It's the preceding arch. Yeah. No, the top of the perspective wall. Yeah, I didn't do it because it was, it was out of view. Out of view because we're inside a big box that goes on forever because we're so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo, fly spaces! I know. Oh. Hey, I got to design the theater. What do? <laughs> What if you didn't have a proscenium arch around it and you were just drawing this wall? How would you know where it ends? It wouldn't wherever it ends. No, it's a very valid question. The, the important question is I need to know the height of the wall. Remember that we know true height only against the proscenium arch. So say if my wall stopped over here or even over here, I could bring that. I think from here. To here. Oh, uh, to the vanity point again. Really in a box. I get it. But it's gonna. Makes it's perfect a, sense. Yeah. It's a very good question, you know. Mm -hmm. But what if what if it was over here, and so you'd see a little chunk of it? Mm -hmm. You could have, you know, it could have happened. So, as an example, but that I'm glad you brought the question because that's a good question. That shows you how that works. It tells me something that's important in the concept of building a perspective from scratch is very important rule, only through measurements all on the proscenium arch. So that really, really, the reason why I was able to answer you so quickly is like, oh yeah, I could tell you. Tell me how is the wall. I'll check on the proscenium arch and I could tell you what's going on. Okay. So what do we want to do next? Why don't we find the location of this box? Okay, now, there's a couple things that we have to deal with here. One of the things that's going to be challenging is that now this box is not on a, on a picture plane, you know, or in the very back over here. So where, where is it in space? How do we find that? Are you using the vanishing point? Or the observation point, sorry. No, not yet. What we need to do is we need to first project this box to the wall that we already know. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this box over here and we could do dot, 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 and the front of the box dot, 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 dot. We know where the back wall is. You see that? So what I'm going to do now And I'm get my observation point <laughs> over here, and I'm gonna find the, the front part of that box. <clears throat> you get that? It's gonna go over here. If I drop this down, try to keep it as parallel as I can. This is where box is. is the box. Somewhere around this line is gonna be the box. So oh now. Oh my God. I just got it now. <laughs> I just, I just, I was looking at it and I was just like, oh. I love that. I love, love, love that. These light bulbs coming up is what I, I, I go for in my life when I teach. Is these little light bulbs coming like, I get it, I get it. This You're is what I. So this is a lot easier. To be continued. <laughs>